Hey y'all, I'm literally dumb and I thought that I could um What the heck am I trying to say? I could go get my car registered today, but it's Juneteenth Juneteenth. So um they're closed. Here's me in my outfit after I worked out today. The back of my legs still burnt, okay? We're not gonna talk about them, okay? They don't exist at all. This pimple like hurts, which is just so fun. I'm having some yogurt because I'm starving. But it's like 11 and I don't really want to eat lunch yet. Mainly I don't want to eat lunch because I don't know what the heck I'm going to have for lunch is the issue. Um, so... Anyway, it's kind of absurd. Um, oh wow, twenty five, twenty seven. Cool. I just had to send I just had to send my videos to Courtney of like last week because I forgot to send them because I'm stupid. I take like my videos for my workout and then I send them to her and then she like tells me either my form is amazing or it's shite or yay, whatever. Um whatever she wants to tell me that day. And <laughs> she literally goes, love the girl outfit that's green, because I wore the Dallas Stars shirt with like the green shorts and a green sports bra. And then <laughs> she goes, those are some sweaty knees. I don't know what it is, but like if I'm really hot, my knees sweat so bad. It's <laughs> just so gross. <laughs> but the gym was literally I was dripping. It was horrible. Anyway. Anyway. Hey. I'll be honest, I haven't studied all that much today. I've just been sitting on my couch scrolling on my phone because I just, I didn't want to do it. I know that's bad. I should have just put my phone in the other room and just got after it, but I didn't. So here we are. Oh well. I was pull a long day on Friday or something. I'm so tired. I don't know why I'm so tired. I went to bed at 8 p.m. last night. Like, I was literally was in my bed by 7 last night. And I was probably asleep by 8.15. And then I woke up at 5 to go to work. Like, that is so much sleep. I don't know. I put barbecue sauce on my ground turkey today because do I really want to eat this right now? No. Um what do they want from freaking like soup dumplings or something. I could slap so hard right now. Or like really spicy ramen. <laughs> I want you to tell me how to get these gnats out of my house because I'm gonna kill them. Um, I posted a TikTok on my fitness TikTok and it like low key it was blowing up for my TikTok following. I have like 50 people that follow me on that TikTok. If you wanna follow it, it's so jacked. I'm pretty sure is the name on it. I think so. Um, and I've just been po like posting either like, I have one mic'd up workout, which I need to do again. And then just like vlogs of me like talking over them. And honestly, like I kind of love doing it because I kind of feel like it's like 
a TikTok that no one knows about. <laughs> and I can just, like, do what I want with it. Slash, I've been really trying to, like, get more comfortable with filming in the gym. Because I think, like, gym vlogs are, like, some of my favorite things to watch. Like, little mic'd up videos. That bun was probably worse than the one that I had on before, but... I'm out. I just like really enjoy watching them and they're fun to watch. Um, people making gym, gym content that actually like know what they're talking about is like really helpful. Like I said in the last TikTok I made, which is probably not gonna be the last TikTok when I post this, but it's the one where I'm doing legs and I'm in like the dark sport shirt and shorts. And my shorts are like tie dyed. Uh, that she posted this like kickback video and she was like. I've been doing kickbacks wrong for so long and like I finally like got a cue from someone that like made my glutes fire. And I was like, okay, let me try these. Every time I do glute ki like cable kickbacks, I feel it so much in my hamstrings and I don't know why. And I like really, I, I'm probably just bending over too much or something. And so she was like, yeah, bend over like not a lot. And she was like, cause you, wanna, you also won't feel it in your back. Cause like that also was something that happened to me. And basically you like only lean forward just a little bit and then like you can either kick straight back out or like I do it at like a 45 degree angle because that like kind of helps me. And then if you just like think about it, mind muscle connection, it's kind of fire, kind of love it. But like that helped me so much. Like now I feel like my kickbacks are so different than they were before. But anyway, that's really all I had to say. I'm listening to my audiobook right now, so. I'm so unbelievably tired. I don't know why I'm so tired. I just feel like, you know, um, that I'm making another Ninja Creamy tonight. So I'll let you know how it is. It's a new one. We did a protein shake with Oreo pudding mix. And then I'm gonna put Oreos and re-season it because I want to change it up. But yeah. Anyway, ta-ta for now. Ladies and gentle squares, <laughs> I now present to you Ninja Creamy Time. Dude, it literally looks like I have freaking poop on my head. Okay, let me, let me. Are we good? Let me, hopefully. Rip out all of my hair. Ow. Okay. So we're going to try and fix that situation of the poop on my head. So I did not wait to brush my teeth. My mouth feels like really gross. Okay. We got Oreo McFlurry. I split two, I think it was two. I don't know, maybe it was one, I don't know. I split a protein shake in between the two of them. Because when I do a whole protein shake in one of these freaking ice creams, I can never finish it. It's so much ice cream to put in my body. Not that I'm mad about it, but. Ready? Yeah. It's so loud. I really don't want to hear it right now, but it's, this is not going to help my situation. Well, I very badly messed this one up. It's kind of a milkshake consistency. It was still like super powdery after the respin after I put water in it, so I put more water in it. I think I put too much water in it. Not my best creation. It's really icy. Dude, that ice cream made me feel, excuse me, literally horrible. 
Who's even laying in my bed because I feel gross. <laughs> so, probably I'm gonna get ready for that because I don't know what to do with myself. I feel gross. <laughs> my hair looks awful. I just can't even. Okay, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm signing off. Hello, ladies and gentle swears. <laughs> I am so tired. It's 8.30. I'm drinking pre-workout because we have to deadlift and currently my body doesn't want to do that. So I set my alarm for 5.30. It went off and I was like, ooh, no. So then I fell asleep until 6.30. And then one of the girls that I work with asked me to look at her resume. So I was looking at her resume and then I made myself breakfast because I was like, my pre-workout snack of rice cakes is really not doing the job. So I made egg whites and two um, hash browns, and then I had some yogurt with it, so it was a pretty big breakfast, but honestly, that's what I needed, so we're in a deadlift, I need to go get gas in my car, also look at how my legs look after I sit in my seats, um, can it give me like, find a place to rest you, I guess not, um, I'm gonna go get gas in my car and then I have to go do my emissions test and then I'm going to see if I can do my registration today because my license plates are up at the end of the month so have I ever done this before no am I a little scared kind of yeah but it shouldn't be that bad I'm just here it's gonna take all day like it did for my freaking driver's license for me my driver's license here it took me five hours why I literally made an appointment so that was fabulous anyway Y'all, if my hair gives you any state of my well-being, today has been the day from a literal, lit, lit, literal, literal, H-E double hop sticks, because I did my freaking license plate today, the emissions, fire, okay? The emissions guy, loved him, took him a whole five seconds to get my life together, right? Then I have to go to the freaking whatever it's called, tax office, see my license place, because why Texas can't just do it at the DMV, I don't know, okay? Don't know, you will never understand. Anyway, so, I'm dying right now. So, long story short, I was at, I went to three tax offices today because tell me why some of them are um, closed on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I probably should have looked that up, but like, why are just randomly some of them closed on Tuesdays and Thursdays? I don't understand. Anyway, so then I went to one that was open and they were like, oh, um, BT dubs. It's a full, or the first one I went to, they were like, we're not doing titles today. And I was like, how do you just pick a day you're not going to do titles? I don't understand. Because I had to like register my car and I had to put it in my name because my car wasn't in my name before. And, um, and whatnot, whatever. So, um, so they were like, yeah, we're not doing titles today, whatever. So I went to the next one, they're like, it's gonna be a four and a half hour wait. And I was like, no. So then I went to another one and like they told me they're like there shouldn't be a wait. I still waited two and a half hours. And then they're like, you're not insured. And I'm like, if my name's not on the insurance, I don't have insurance. I have insurance. So I have to pull it up and the guy just didn't know what he was looking at. So whatever. I'm so hot and cranky and hungry. It's freaking 3 p.m. And I have breakfast in me. Good morning, y'all. Oh, that's just not good lighting. Um, I went to the gym this morning. We actually got up. I got up at like 6.30. And then we went to the gym. And then I came home and showered. I made my lunch and we're gonna go sit in a coffee shop after I go to the chiropractor. 
I don't know why, but I feel so awkward wearing shorts with a chiropractor. I don't know why. So, I have pants on, even though it's like hot as heck. But I'm gonna change into shorts before I go to the coffee shop. So, kind of tempted to go to La La Land because it's right here and then I don't have to move my car. But then part of me like wants to go to the places down the street. We will figure it out in like in the 30 minutes I have before I need to make my decision. Cool. But yeah. I just still can't believe how long it took me yesterday to get my freaking title and registration done. That just was so absurd. I did like two units when I got home to study because like that's all I had in me. So today we really gotta crank it out. Hi, welcome to my life where I'm sitting in my apartment uh, lounge thing because I was at the coffee shop I've been to before. Hold on, I'll put my switch on because I'm cold. Um, oh, algae. I just like ripped off the tags and the thing on the inside is still on there and it stabbed my thingy. Uh, I was there for like maybe an hour and then I got like really overstimulated because there are a lot of people there and I like it was literally like making me have like a freak out like I was like trying to focus and then everybody was talking around me because it's a coffee shop so obviously like you know people chit chat usually I'm good with that usually I like the little noise and I don't feel so alone today though it was like driving me up a wall I was like I can't sit here anymore so I left <laughs> And now we're in here because there's no one in here. Because I was like, if there's someone in here, I'm just going to go to the library. But I've never felt like that overstimulated in a coffee shop ever in my life. Like, that was, like, so bad. Anyway, I'm eating my sandwich now. So, <laughs> yeah. But it's thundering out right now. Um, I turned on this Apple computer because I didn't know if it worked. So I'm just gonna use my laptop and I'm like, I wonder if these computers are actually hooked up because I don't know, I was curious. And someone from 2018 was logged into iMessage. I think they just found out about someone, I have no idea. I'm very confused. Why did I have to read it? Because I'm nosy. Did y'all hear that? Anyway, fail. Yeah. Okay, I have acne cream on my face, ignore it. I'm eating probably one of the greatest concoctions in the cream I've ever made. Anyway, I'm watching My Fall or Culpa Mia, whatever. So it's originally a Spanish film, correct? I'm assuming. And they literally just like dubbed English over them and I can't get over their mouths and the words just not matching up at all. <laughs> I was just gonna watch it in Spanish with the subtitles on because fun, funny story, um, 365, uh, I watched in not English the first time I ever watched it. Because I watched it off of Facebook, like a bootleg version, <laughs> because it wasn't in the States yet. And I'd seen too many TikTok, or no, I think it was on Twitter that I kept seeing videos for it, so. I'm used to watching, I'm not used to it, but I can watch movies in another language that I don't know, and just turn on the subtitles and get the gist. But yeah, this is just, it's making me laugh. <laughs> anyway. Peace out. Okay, this movie's good and all. I just really can't get past that they're step-sibs. But anyway, besides the point, 
Is this supposed to be like Romeo and Juliet? I think they're supposed to be like, they can't be together. So they're gonna like die? Is that, <laughs> is that how this movie's gonna be? Like we love, we love the chemistry between them, but like you are step siblings. Ooh. Welcome to my life where I'm sweating literal buckets. My knees are dripping, which is disgusting. I need to go home and die, but I have to go shower and I'm going to get a facial. So also the bug bites in my legs hurt so bad because I scratch them and then my sweat's in them. So that's gross. Anyway. TTYL. Love my very red face. That's dumb. This is like, beside my lips go numb. This is going up, I hope. Um. <sighs> we did a micro needling because my face is finally living life. From like here out on both sides, literally just the middle of my lips aren't numb. These, this is so numb. <laughs> Eating? Mm, fun. Okay, it's just numb. We love life. Living lives, we love life. <laughs> Hi, I feel like I'm less red. Maybe, maybe it's my head, I don't know. Anyway, we're making chicken nuggets. Love this for me. Also, hold on, please hold. Okay, what I was gonna say before I like had to measure out my food um, was, so as y'all know, I watched the Culpa Mia, My Fault, whatever you want to call it, movie. And I just like, everybody's like in awe with the movie and I just really cannot get past with those step siblings. Like I really can't get past it. I don't know why that like icks me out so bad, but it does. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Also, like, everybody's, like, drooling over what's his name, Gabriel, in real life, Nick, in the movie. And he's the most scrawniest boy I've ever seen in my life. Like, okay, then again, like, my type is not scrawny boys, but, like, for, like, the bad boy character he's supposed to be, where he's a boxer, he races cars. Okay, racing cars, you can be skinny, whatever. But, like, his Formula One drivers are skinny. But that's because they have to, because of the weight of the car. Anyway. But, like, to be a boxer, you gotta. I don't know. You have to have. I don't know. You have to have some meat on your bones or something. Shut up. I don't know, I'm gonna watch through the window tonight, so. Okay, so. I just finished through, wow, this is a great angle, through my window. I think it's what it's called. Am I missing something? Why is everybody like pooping their pants over this movie? It was low key kind of not good. I'm confused. Anyway, I guess. I don't know. 
know, man.